Timothy Rishon, 1 Timothy 4. Now, the Ruach speaks expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the belief, giving heed to seducing Ruachoth and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which Yahua has created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of Yah is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving For it is sanctified by the word of Yahua and prayer. If you put the brethren in remembrance of these things, you shall be a good minister of Yahusha HaMashiach, nourished up in the words of belief and of good doctrine, whereunto you have attained. But refuse profane and old women's fables, and exercise yourself rather unto righteousness. For bodily exercise profits little, but righteousness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that is now and of that which is to come. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach, because we trust in the living Yah, who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. These things command and teach. Let no man despise your youth, but be an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in love, in ruach, in belief, in purity. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in you, which was given you by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the elders. Meditate upon these things. Give yourself wholly to them, that your profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto yourself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this you shall both save yourself and them that hear you.